Hello guys and welcome to that new video. Uh, it's gonna be a tutorial video again and this time it's gonna be about goalkeeping. So um, I think I've made all the video in for individual uh, playing like not, not so much individual but for you to improve individually so I think I did all uh, about the basic stats uh, now I'm gonna I'm gonna play the roles so I'm gonna play I'm gonna play goalkeeping I'm gonna play defense I'm gonna play attack I may be gonna make uh, a video for every pose how to play every pose and etc we will continue like that um, it's gonna be a long journey um, for my tutorial videos I'm gonna make a lot for you to understand the the complete the complete way possible to, to understand this game so let's get into it um, when you're a goalkeeper the first thing you need to know is that you are the last defense for for your team okay for everything or even anything you can be the best defense or you can be the worst defense okay when you're a goalkeeper you need to understand that your pause is really important for the team um because uh, when you got a bad goalkeeper you can see the difference between a bad and a good goalkeeper and when you got a bad goalkeeper the goal the goals are gonna, are gonna come really really um severely okay so you need to improve yourself as goalkeeper so you're watching the video you're not watching other video as the guy just, just says nothing about anything about <laughs> but you just seeing the basic of the game i'm gonna make i'm gonna make more i'm gonna i'm gonna make you a real a real guy a real goalkeeper so listen to me when you're a goalkeeper you're not outfield i think you all understand that i think you all understood that but you know some some guys are just trying to throw a game, and they are playing outfield as goalkeeper. It happens every time in public. It happens every time in mixes. It mixes sometimes. Uh, pardon, lo siento. Um, it happens, but you know you need to know that like in real life, like in the real football or in the real soccer, as the Americans tell that. You, this this is this is your your home okay this is your town this is your your territory okay that that box is your territory you can dive you can use your hands every time you want okay i'm i'm diving i'm diving i'm diving i'm diving oh shit um yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna make that after. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna come back after. Okay. So after you understood how to how to play goalkeeper, I mean how to play when you are in your territory, you need to understand that playing goalkeeper is very hard. Um, as I said, it's the one of the most important positions of your team in your team. But it's also the hardest. It's not the hardest uh, mechanically, but it, it's hardest about pressure. It's hardest about decisions because one mistake, like I got the ball, I'm trying to look at my teammates, and. The opponent is coming to me. He is running to me. He's trying to pressure me. I'm just gonna run away. Try to see a teammate. I cannot see him. I give the ball to the opponent. The opponent get the ball. They get fastly. They shoot. They score. One nil. 
when you are out of your goals, the score can happen really fastly. There is nobody to help you because they they swear they would like to, to see you not lose the ball, and then the the, dra the drastic drastic uh, moment happens, and you are like, oh my god, why did I do? Why did I do? Well, just mess up. It can happen. It, it, it happened to me uh, once, or I think maybe yeah, once. It happened to me once when I was uh, in Sub Zero. I think I think it was Sub Zero. We still managed to to win the game, but that thing has not is not needed to to happen. I mean, just do that, and that's it. <laughs> Just that and that's it. So um, let's go to, um, to tutorial. Wait, is my game crashed? Never mind. What the? Okay. Can you can you give me goalkeeper, please? Thank you, bot. You are really high. You have full bot. So as you can see, I'm the goalkeeper. You can see that I'm moving to the left, to the right. I'm from moving forward. I'm I'm moving backward. And how to save a shot, how to dive, okay? How to dive. Can we see that? No, we can't. We cannot. You can see jump, but that will be useful for you. But you cannot, you cannot see dive or save. So, the guy is just shooting. And you are about to save it. But when you shot... Oh, fuck. When you shot, you don't know how to save. You feel... You, you say to yourself, how how do I dive? Why why couldn't I, I save the shot? I mean, I could save it if I if I was di diving, but I can't. I don't know the the touch. I think you got this in customize. Okay, no, that, 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 that's just the keeper the keeper keyword. That just says that jump K. Uh, equal to to dive slot k equals to, to jump or you can put jump k equals to jump jump k equals to side dive or side side jump and etc okay I, I put it in one a lot of players are putting one or, or two because it's the opposite but how to dive well you click space you can jump with space but at the same time, if you want to dive to the right, I'm moving to the right, okay, and I click space. It's like this: you 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 die, okay. You move to the right, and you click space at the same time. Try to do it instant, instantly, immediately, at the same time, both both buttons. And you're gonna you're gonna make dives. It's the same for for the left. The shot the shot is there. I move to the right. I move to the left. I mean with Q, and I I dive with space. Okay, Q and space to dive to the left. We can also move forward and space. You're gonna you're gonna make a dive forward. This 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 dive is. Especially when when the the opponent is close to you, close to your goals, you try to reach it, and then, or maybe when the the opponent is making a long ball, and that uh, you can reach it, try to you try to lead it before reaching it, because if you do that and you miss it, the opponent is just gonna score. Okay, so try to lead before reach. Can I, can I? Thank you. And and then you can say. Same with the backward, S and space. It makes a backward. It's it's especially when the the shots are too much high for for your for you because you you know um, when you when you are goalkeeper you got something called draw player reach indicators. I I, I put it in 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 in, uh, in 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 dribbles in dribble tutorial. So when you're diving, you have the uh, rectangular uh, rectangular hitbox. Okay. 
it's it's just I, I don't know man uh, it's just like it's it's logic your player is like uh, is rectangular and and, and your inbox is rectangular as well so it's logic for me so when you want to move to to do it backward you can see as you can see I have more inbox in my backward than in my forward okay and that's used for for the too much high uh, shots like a lob <laughs> a lob yeah a lob when someone is doing a lob it's really hard rare to see that but... wait wait I'm, I'm oh my oh what okay I made it but that's that, that, oh, shit never mind let me do it again with a uh, eye shot no that, that's that's not the eye Okay, I think that's I. I think, I think, yeah. Just, just go there. Okay, okay. You're gonna understand. You see? The shot is too much high. I think, yeah, I can save with the, the normal die, but you understand, you understood me? The shot is too much high. Of course, the the shot is gonna go backward you because you, you're diving to the, to, diving to, to your backward, so <laughs> you're gonna, you're gonna save to the backward, so you need to be careful with that. Especially with the lobs, the lobs are really criticized, critical. I mean, they are really critical on the on the thing. Well, so um, I think I've said all with the with the space. Uh, you got uh, you got uh, you got uh, you got a thing. You got um, I I don't need that. So you got you got the jump K to ethical jump. What what equals to jump? I mean, uh, what what it says? It says that when I'm space when I'm jumping. With the same time that I'm moving forward, I don't, I don't dive. But when I'm clicking to my slide tackle, I do dive. It's because when you see when I'm doing my normal option, when I'm clicking to slide tackle and I'm moving forward, I'm just jumping. It's really, it's really helpful when you you're trying to. To steal um, a corner kick, corner ball, or cross ball. That's really um, be um, before just diving, you know, in instead of diving. So just trying to jump. That's great. Can even do that. That's the best auction. That's the best auction. I mean, I think yeah. So I say that it was the opposite of the thing. Uh, it's the opposite of that of what I'm using. So I, I need to if I want to dive, I need to to use a F. Okay, I need to use F. It's really hard for me because I'm not used to it. But I can. I think I, I think it's a button. <laughs> no, no, I, I I don't because when I need to oh, for for the right, I mean D and F are just beside you know. So they are just like um, neighbors. So. It's really hard for me to, to touch it. I need to. <laughs> I need to. <laughs> it's really hard for me, so I don't use this. And what is this? I don't even know what is this. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I, I, I understand. I understand. The thing is, you die. You can with space. You can only dive to the left and to the right. And with slide taco, you can only dive. Backward and forward. You cannot dive with F to the right or to the left, and you cannot dive with jump backward or forward. You cannot. You cannot do that. Oh shit, I have to go to the toilet. <laughs> let, me just, let me just go to the toilet. Okay, so. Um, after I said all of the, all, all all of this, I think um, I think we got the thing. Uh, uh, I, yeah, I think we got the, all the thing. Now we need to go to, to the advanced stats um, about the goalkeeping uh, because you know how to dive. You can you can save shots. But it depends. Why does it depend? 
Um, more we are, uh, more the life is is going, more time is going. I mean, more players know how to how to score, and more goalkeepers also know how to save better. But for new players, when you are beginning goalkeeping, you're gonna take more time than when you're just beginning defense or more when you're just beginning middle field or more or when you're just beginning attacking. Because you're gonna face you can with the 8v8 or in Discord, in the, in the, in the matchmaking, you're gonna face the one player, you're gonna face overlap players, and you're gonna face the few players. It's not only the few, it's, a, it's also the one premier and overlap. Uh, so it's why it's hard for you to save a shot because you can be against only G1 players and they know how to score okay they know how to how to fake you and they, and they know how to score and you don't know how to save their shot because their shots are just impossible to save when you're just a new player because you need practice you need practice when you are goalkeeping it's like it's like the training you need practice to be a, a great goalkeeper and after that you're playing matches and you try to save. So, how do you save their shots? I'm gonna show you how to position yourself. I think with all of that, all of that, okay, I'm gonna just go to there. I'm gonna put my password. Um, I'm gonna put my password. I'm gonna put my password, and we're gonna just go there. So for you to see everything on my screen, the guy is there. It's a, an opponent who wants to score. He's just sitting like that. I, I mean, he's just there. Okay, let's say that he's just there. He's about to shoot. There, the ball is there. He's about to shoot. How do you position yourself about according to the ball? According to the ball. Where if it was only me, I use the square. I use the squares to, to, to position myself. Okay? I know that that's weird <laughs> coming from me. But I use the square to position myself, and also according to the ball. When the ball is there, I'm there, and I'm looking the ball, and only the ball. I'm not trying to look at the player, I'm looking at the ball. Why this? Because if you're looking at the player view, uh, uh, at his face, and then he fakes you. I cannot do this way. Or if he does that, you think he's, he's gonna shoot there, but he shoot there. Okay, you understood. So never try to look at the player face. Try to look only at the ball. So what I do when I'm totally focused, I look like this. When the ball is there, I look like this. Okay, I don't see the player face. I don't see anything of the of the player. I just see the ball, and when he's about to shoot, oh, whoa, 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 that's impossible to save. Okay, I can see the ball, and as I'm totally focused. It's a save like 90% of the time. As I have the reaction, as I am warm up, as I am good goalkeeper. 
ninety percent of the time. My bad, my bad, guys. Um, ninety because I ate, I, I ate, I ate pizzas. So <laughs> ninety percent of the time, I save the shot. Uh, you need to um, to position yourself in front of the ball. And as I told you, with the square, up into the square. The ball is there. I'm like this. I use this line. Normally, I'm like every time to, uh, on this line. Sometimes I go like there, up. Sometimes I go there. It depends. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna say to you after. It's a, it's a shit shot, it's a bad shot, a really bad shot. I'm just gonna save it like this. You can use this training uh, about how much can you reach the ball to save that. And how much can you reach the ball with the, with the, the, the worst reaction possible. I can still reach the ball with a bad reaction. I cannot reach the ball with a bad reaction. I can reach the ball with a bad reaction. I can. I cannot. I cannot. I cannot. I can. So, that is good. This square. But this square as well is good. You would say that you are too close to the to the ball. You're not gonna you're not gonna be able to, to have the reaction to if he shoots, uh, if he shoots uh, really fastly, well, I can say that it's not, it's not true. I'm the perfect example. Uh, I'm always on this line, but I'm also always up to this line, always forward to this line. When I'm going on the line, it's only when the sh the player, my player, is on the box. And he's really close to me. He's like that. You will say, but Halim, it's impossible to save. Well, whatever the save you will try to do, the time you will try to do, like this. You, do you, can you save that? Well, that depends. You will, you, you will say that if I'm going up, I would save this with the best reaction, and it, it, it would be great for me. But sometimes I'm using that and used to it, and I got to the line to save only the, this kind of shots, only the close shots. Okay, the shots are too close to me, and this type of shot is is not common. When the player is close to you, he's not gonna do a perfect shot for you in the per in the top bins. He's not gonna do that. He's just gonna try to to fake you or try just to shoot, you know, because he, he knows he will, he will score if he shot if he shoots like that there. Okay. So if you are backward your line. If you are on the line, you will have the best reaction possible because you are far to the ball and you will see the ball better than if you just up to my line. When I'm saying up, up or forward to my line, is this line, okay? This line. I'm not seeing this line. This line is the line of the goals, okay? And this line is my line. Is the line I'm always in. When I'm goalkeeper. So, if you want to save a shot, as I said in my shooting video, shooting tutorial video, you have two kinds of, of shooting. You have the reverse shot, what I'm doing right now, and you got the cross shot. Okay? The river shot, still the river shot, the straight shot you can use to it, you can use it, but nobody <laughs> nobody shoots like that, except melee. And you got 
in the cross shot. How to save every kind of shoot from the opponents and how to save in every situation? Well, the answer is is fast and it's also correct. You cannot save every shot. The goalkeeper is getting nerfed every moment the, the game is going, every moment the time is going. Um, but we are they are trying to, to balance the this nerf. What I mean before the 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 the, 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 the update um, the range of the goalkeeper was better, it was more further. It was further, I mean, not more further, it was just further. But the diving speed was reduced. It was not like this, okay? You could have a better range, but your diving speed was not like this, okay? It was reduced. With the new update, um, your range is reduced, but your diving speed is better. It's faster, okay? So, um, a lot of players uh, have said something about this new update. Some players are, uh, they are just complaining. Some, some others are just saying nothing. Uh, I'm on the ones who say nothing because I don't care about the update, I will just adapt myself on the update and always we try to abuse on the, on the things but I'm gonna just say something about the new, this new update before I was really used to to dive on the, on the corners and on the cross shots trying to to save, okay, save like this I, I, I was trying to to dodge the, the player with that and we're gonna do the, just the header or the shots okay and i was trying to to not make him shoot because if he shoots it's impossible to me to, to save it if he if he do, if he does a header i'm gonna save it from this distance i'm gonna save it if it does not shot there okay or it does not shot on the on the top bins okay i'm gonna save it but Right now, I'm not trying to, to use the this, this kind of save because, as I've said, my range gets reduced. So I cannot switch the ball like I want, like before, as my range gets reduced. And also, I didn't tell you about the updates, but when someone is shooting on you, before the update, you got like, 75% to catch it with the ends. Like, can I say that? No, okay. There's just a shot. You're trying to dive. Okay, you were not supposed to, to save this. You got before. You could catch, catch it like that. Okay? Before, before the update. Now with this, after this update, you got 25% of catching the ball. 25. That's really low. So try to just stay like this. <laughs> You're gonna save this 100% if uh, the guy just shot on you. But I'm used to always die. So even if the guy is shooting on me, I'm gonna try to die, okay? Because I don't know, I'm used to it, and etc. So sometimes with this new update, rebounds can appear. Okay, rebounds. What 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 is the rebound? The guy shot. Shit. Uh, it's a bad shot. So you're gonna save it 100% even if you die. It depends if the shot is strong or it's it's not strong, it's just powerless. 
Okay, this shoots is great. This shoots is really strong. Okay, wait. My position is good to catch it because I'm I'm on my line on my on my on my line of the goals. Now, I have the best reaction. Okay, okay, okay. I've I got a bad reaction. Wait. I said I've got a bad reaction. Oh, for God's sake. Never mind. Um, let's just look shot like this. Yeah, I think I'm not gonna save that. I think I'm not gonna catch that, I mean. Yeah. This is a rebound. If another player somehow, okay, somehow, he just play positioned himself like that, like that. In depth. He got the rebound. Wait. <laughs> he got the rebound somehow. And he, sh he can shoot. That's the typical thing that happens now in iOS. The goalkeeper is just rebounding the ball with his save, with his dive, so. And another attacker somehow positioning himself for the rebound. He's just gonna shoot and score. That's also a thing that I want to share to you because. Uh, it's really bad to see that. It's really not have, not great to see that. Because you do the effort to save that shot and then just another player somehow gets the ball, gets the rebound and just shooting like that and scoring. How much did I, did I make this video? 30 minutes for God's sake. I speak to, I spoke too much. Um, so. I've said how to position yourself. Wait, just gonna <laughs> just gonna put that. I've said how to position yourself in front of the ball, not like this. If the ball is there, okay, not like this. You is gonna shoot 100 percent there because you, and you cannot save this because you are doing that, and the the, the shot just gonna go there. So if the guy shooting from there your position is gonna be like that you're gonna have the range from saving from there and you're gonna have the range to save from from there okay an example a cross shot and there I'm saving with the worst, with the worst, worst reaction possible. Wait, that's not the worst. The worst. That's not the worst. That's maybe the worst. That's not the worst. That was the worst. That was the worst. I'm still saving it. But we threw your bonding. You can see that. So. So never go to to the to the to the limits of your goals. Always use uh, that thing, okay? What I am circling, what I am highlighting, this is your movement when you position yourself to the goals, okay? Understood? You need to be in this area when you are a goalkeeper and you cut the ball, okay? Even if the ball is there, you cut the ball. I'm gonna save it. So I think I've said all. Maybe I can say something about the goalkeeping, about the passes. Uh, something I'm I'm now used to see is that a lot of goalkeepers don't know how to pass. They don't get the vision to pass the ball. And when you're a goalkeeper, you are like the guy who who can do counter counter attack. Okay. If a guy is open, of course. But sometimes I'm just seeing goalkeepers do this. You just shoot like that. You just shoot like that. I ask why. If there was a winger open there, why would you shoot like that? What is the point of doing that? 
There is no point to do that, okay? Try to see every teammate. Every of your teammates, try to see them. And try to see if they are open or not. To see a teammate open, there is a teammate. Wait, there is a teammate. He got his opponent. Is it open? No, he's not open. There is a teammate. There is his opponent. Is he open? Yes, he is open. You can see the difference between the guy who's not open and the guy who's open. There is like five meters. One, two, three, almost four. There is three meters. Bit for this distance between your teammates and his opponents. So you're just gonna pass him the ball. If you see him. When you go keeper, I advise I'd advise you to pass the ball to the to the wingers and to the fullbacks. Because they are always open. What I mean with that. It's gonna be on the defense. Uh, tutorial video and attacking tutorial video, but when the attack is defending for for the opponents, when you get the ball, that means and the opponent doesn't get the ball, it means that if you did some soccer in real life or even virtual, you know that when you're defending, you're not if like your opponent is there. You're not gonna go to him. Like I got a winger there and the fullback. If I am attacking, I would just go away from this from this guy because he's defending and I don't don't want him to to take me. If I am defending, I'm going to him. But if the balls, if the ball, I mean. If the, ball's, if the ball is there, if the ball is there, I'm not gonna be on that guy. What I mean, I'm gonna be there. I'm not gonna be on my guy, I'm gonna be there. Why? Because that, that is your teammate, that is his player, who is every time there. There is your your teammates all as well. Just there. And there is the winger there. As you can see, your teammate is not on his open as well as you. You are trying to protect from this from the CF. You can say that the CB can take his player. But it's not how it works in football. In soccer. You need to do a line with your teammates, your defending teammates, and you have to to block the 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 the, 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 the place for the CF. Because if you you just go there, as I said, is your teammates making your opponent be open or not? Is he taking your opponent or not? He's not. The opponent is totally free there. There is what? One, two, three, four, five meters. Five meters between them. He's totally open. He's just gonna take the ball. He's just gonna move forward. You're gonna have late to go to him. He's gonna box you, he's gonna box your, your, your teammates, he's gonna score, he's gonna just do like that, he's gonna maybe fake, fake your go, your, go, your, your goalkeeper, and he's gonna score, okay? So it's what I mean. So when you're attacking with the, your goalkeeper, you just save uh, fantastic, fantastic in, amazingly, okay? You just save amazing, amazingly. And you got the fullback who's not on the on the wingers on on or, or 
the fullbacks. Just gonna pass him the ball. He's always open. Mostly when the wingers are defending from the opponent. They are not gonna take the fullbacks. So always pass to the fullbacks or the wingers. They are always open. But try to see them if they are open. Because if they are not, don't pass to them. It will be just losers. They are just gonna lose the ball. So I think I said all about goalkeeping. Um, I've said all to dive, space, uh, space with the directions, the different type of, of diving, how to position yourself, like I said, this area. Okay. And only this area, if you are deaf, you're gonna not saving this. If you are deaf, you're not gonna save this. If you are deaf, you're not gonna save this. If the ball is there, okay. So um, I think I finished with that video, with that tutorial video. Um, it took like 40 minutes for this one. It's going it's very gonna be long, but I spoke too much about my feelings on the on the updates and uh, my feelings on how the goalkeepers save their shots and everything and everything about iOS. So I think you enjoyed this video this video is for someone who wants to, to know how to, to be better in goalkeeping um, so I'm doing that uh, for her but I'm also doing that for new players who want to begin iOS with in goalkeeping goalkeeping as I said is the hardest position in this game which is also can be the great the greatest because scoring scoring a, a goal is really great but saving a shot is more enjoy 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 enjoyful it's more grateful it's more it's just better I mean I'm playing goalkeeping the goalkeeper I'm playing CF I'm playing CM I'm playing CB and for all all the pose the pose that I enjoy the most is goalkeeper so now the, the post that I enjoy the most is CM because I'm doing everything on the on, on the field, but I like also as well the the goalkeeper because fuck the goalkeeper is really great. Being a great goalkeeper is better than being a great CM. So guys, I think I'm gonna stop it there. If you wanna ask me something about goalkeeping, you can ask me in the ends. Um, I'm gonna put my Discord, my Discord prof profile, uh, in, in in the in the in the description on this video, and so you guys can can ask me everything you want to ask to me. You can, if you're a new player, you can ask me everything. Can. How do we shoot the ball? I will just tell you. Watch my fucking video about shooting tutorial. But if a guy is pressuring me, he's just trying to dribble me and I'm goalkeeper, what I do? Go to him. Go to him. Look at the, the real football games about in real life and try to see what the goalkeepers do in, in that situation. That's the best way. That's, that's how I learned to play goalkeeper and... That that's really great. So try to watch real football, and then you can ask me the question if you still didn't understand. <laughs> so guys, I'm gonna let you there. I I, I hope you just yeah, you enjoyed uh, that video. Uh, I'm gonna make for the the next time. I think I'm gonna make the defense video. How to be a good a great defender in that game. And that's gonna be a great, a great, a great tutorial because def defending is the the easiest thing in iOS. If you're new, go play defense. <laughs> it's just an advice <laughs> because fullbacks are the easiest pos e easiest positions on this game, and that's that's why. So guys, um, I'm gonna let you there. I think I hope you enjoyed. And
try to train yourself, try to practice when you're goalkeeper. That's really important. And try to to just make m mixes with the community. They're going to help you anyway. So see ya, boys.